there you have it. Pepecon is no longer pumping. It's correcting. It's about to crash. It's going down. Some people are thinking like that, and they're wrong. They're wrong, everybody, because if there's something I've learned about meme coins is that they always have to take a breather. You always have to stop for a while. And this is really what matters, guys. As long as they keep trending on X, on YouTube, as long as people are talking about it, there's, it's still fair game. And Pepe is at a great time right now in the four hour that we're seeing it. What am I saying? I'm saying that in my Neo Cloud on my log salvo indicator that I'm seeing my buy and sell entries and my Bollinger Bands that I have right here in front of me, finally, we're in the middle. It does not mean that the price of Pepe is going to crash, collapse, and, you know, get demolished. Plus, you have to take a look at Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, and a little bit of Bitcoin to get a much better analysis. What it means is that finally tokens are slowing down because they've been pumping forever. They've been pumping for the last couple of weeks, last couple of days. So it all starts to make sense. Okay, let's relax a bit. People hold their, I mean, money gets dried a little bit. And... Whales also want to take profits. Why? Because they want to. They always want to. So by the end of this video, let's talk about Pepe coin. I added a picture. Do you like it? And tell you really what's happening. And look, price an uh, analysis that we've seen a nice pump, but there's some corrections here. Volume is also declining. People are already talking about it, but that does not mean that Pepe coin rally. It's over. Don't forget to smash the like button, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on those notification bells, everybody. Welcome. Log Salgo Indicator is going to help you a lot. If you're trading, especially, guys, how to buy, how to sell. First link down below. We've been able to help over 70 people. Also, swap and go. Get your Pepe as well. I'll be making another dedicated video for swap and go. It's going to be pretty cool. Decentralized exchange. And they also have a pre-sale SNG token. Second link down below. Take a look at it. Uh, it's like early Uniswap, early Jupiter. You'll be the judge. And the third link down below is Marjax. Marjax is one of those that if you really want to get ahead when it comes to profits, especially those bullish Pepe holders, your 10, 50, up to 100 X positions in futures, derivatives, that's what you want to do. So join Marjax. Over 10 people have been signing up. You'll have to deposit a little bit and then start trading. And there you go. Bonuses, bonuses, bonuses. All right, everybody. So happy to have you back, Pepecon holders. Uh, we had a live yesterday night uh, saying, finally, that was the name of the thumbnail. Finally, we see some type of a correction because, come on, it's been a while. Now, do I like this correction? Of course. Uh, it's not even a full correction, to be honest with you, but it's just no kind of going back to the median, if if you can call it like that, and you can take a look at this trend right here, I'll get the marker. How this middle of the bunger bands is also my Neo Cloud, right? And the Neo Cloud does give me a much better idea how things are moving. This is my bottom of the, of the bunger bands. And just to give you an idea, this is the bottom of my, of my Lux Algo signals and overlays. What it means is that for a long time, Pepe has been demolishing expectations and either it's going to revert and do a reversal, right? Because that's what people want and continue riding. Or we're finally going to see the new cloud and Bollinger Bands meet right here. When they do so in the bottom, then uh, we are probably going to be looking at some ways to start looking at a much better correction, right? But as of now, it's still for a game. As of the time of this video, it does not mean that it's about to collapse per se, right? I mean, it's, it's fair to say that. I like this. What's happening here, guys, is that everything is trending when it comes to the major, major uh, meme coins, right? Floki, I own Floki. And I'm up in my position. I own Chiba, you know, I'm down in my position. I'm, I don't own Pepe Jet, but I will. And I'm just going to, I'm greedy, man. We all are greedy to a certain extent. And I know how great of, a, great of an entry I can get on Pepe. And I'm waiting. And I'll keep you updated. And for to all of those who say, it's so crazy, right? You cannot talk about Pepe if you don't own Pepe. Dummies. We can always talk about whatever we want, everybody, especially if you own a YouTube channel. And uh, I've, uh, Pepe is, is forever, guys. I mean, Pepe is going to still be here with us. 
for years to come. It's a meme that it got transformed into many tokens. And um, I think based on what we're seeing right now, it could be easily the um, MVP token of 2024. 2023 was Pepe and Terraruna class. Uh, no, that was 2022. Was Pepe and other ones that I don't come to my memory right now, but uh, Pepe's been with us for a while, guys, and it's pretty exciting, guys. And there's a lot of people buying it, right? despite the the volume declining. Now, the volume was if the market cap is seven billion, it was seven billion. The volume was roughly four billion, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because it was. Dogecoin to something plus Shiba Inu one. Yeah, it was like 4 billion. Now let's take a look at Pepper right now. 2.6 now. So if we rank by volume, Tether obviously also was number one. And Pepe, it is still, Pepe, it is still much higher than Binance, much higher than Dogecoin, and obviously much higher than Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu is back at 1 billion. So you add Shiba Inu one. Plus Floki one, that's two. Plus Dogecoin, right? That's about almost four billion, three point something. That I mean, you are well ahead of of Pepe, but I mean, you have to be adding a lot of them, right? So it's pretty crazy how no longer people are buying so much Dogecoin, so much Floki, so much Shiba Inu. They're just and even Boom. This is another one that I don't own any Boom. This is a Solana token that. I don't know if I'm the only one who oftentimes gets confused this one with Pepe because they are green too. But um, just to give you an idea, look, it's already in many, many, many different positions. And I think this is a um, this is one token that it's held by a lot of Solana whales, as you can tell. It hasn't really done much, but uh, it's there. It's still going. Book of memes, guys. Uh, how? How sometimes, you know, tokens are coming from all angles and it's up to you to find them, right? It's pretty crazy. Pepe right now, it's uh, definitely making a lot of people really happy. Not only because I told you in the, my last video that there was a Pepe on Solana, there's a Pepe on Base, there's a Pepe on Ethereum, there's a Pepe on Avalanche, there's a Pepe everywhere. So it really depends, you know, which one uh, you want to get in. You want to get in the... The original Pepe, you want to get the, the Pepe that we are talking about. You want to get in a different Pepe. There's always going to be two people talking about it. And it's because of them. It's because of those people that this a Pepe make America great again. So the meme coin season is still hot, despite what's roughly going right now when it comes to a halt in the volume and a halt in momentum. So... Just wanted to set the record straight to all my Pepe coin investors and people watching. Thanks for coming to the to the video. Like and subscribe. Take a look at the links down below, guys. And I'll see you next time. I'll be watching. But uh, rest assured that I'm gonna get in some delicious Pepe. And if I don't get if I don't get some delicious Pepe, then I'll have to pay a premium. And I'm okay with that. I'm already moving some positions there, buying, 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 but I'm always buying crypto. And I'm always talking crypto. Peace.